Okay, so we've just finished uh, setting up our PhoneGap project. So now um, I'm going to put in some things and configure some things in Xcode, um, change some files and things to make it um, look like a real app. So I'm going to stop this. Uh, just go here, press stop. Okay, so there's a few things you do need to do. Um, now, I've got my backup of my Mad Dance project here. So I'm just going to Control A, Control C, sorry, Command, uh, Command A, I'm going to copy and there's my Xcode window. Just navigate to my Xcode project here, and I'm going to delete all of this. Uh, move to crash, and I'm going to paste that in there. So this is an app that I've already, if you're familiar with, you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, you'll uh, be pretty well on your way to making yourself a web app. So I'm going to go back to Xcode now. I'm going to clean. And then I'm going to run it. See what happens. So it's all succeeded. There's my splash screen. OK, so. Um, I know what's wrong there. We haven't uh, whitelisted our external domains, so it's not picking up the, the jQuery um, that I've put in in my um, index.html. So what I mean by that is, if I go back to the folder here, so, so in my index, I've got all my assets, you know, my CSS, my JavaScript. So the way to fix that, if it's pointing to you know somewhere on the internet, um, you know let's say the jQuery CDN, uh, the way to fix that is to actually go into your resources folder within your project, uh, go to your Cordova P list, hover over your external hosts, press the plus button, it will come up with a new item. Okay. Oh, hold on. That's not right. Let's delete that. Let's push that arrow down. Press the plus button, and it should come up with item zero. Uh, and the key, the type should be string, and the value um, just put an asterisk, which means everything. Everything is uh, included. So. We'll do that and make sure you save that. So, command S. Now I'm going to stop it. I'm going to run it. I'm not going to clean it. I'm just going to purely just run it and see how that works. Okay, now my Mad Dance um, app is working pretty well. So, I've built, built all that, and that's all with you know, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay. So I've got my, my maps working and everything like that. And my tweets. See if those are working here. Uh, nope. So the reason why my tweets aren't working are because I've attached them to child browser plugin, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So we'll stop that. Now I want to fix up a few things like my icons. Um, so I'm just going to go into my finder again, and in my backup project here, I'm going to go to the Mad Dance folder, um, resources, I'm going to go to icons, I'm going to copy all these, okay, and I'm going to go to the one that I'm working on right now, go to, go to the exact same folder, and get rid of the phone gap predefined ones. Delete those, put those in. And what you also need to do is re I've just got to rename these with I think a small i ribbon as well. 
So I'll just rename these with a small i because uh, Xcode can be a bit um, funny with capital I's in the icon that are pointing to it. So I'll just do that. Make sure it starts with a small i. Okay, now I'm going to open up Xcode again. And I'm going to open up my finder. So I'm just going to minimize this one because I don't need that one anymore. I'm going to select just the top four icons that I need. And I'm just. Let's have a look here. Go back to Xcode. I'm going to get rid of. Uh, go to my icons folder. Get rid of these. So I'm just going to say delete my icons, but remove references. That's fine. And then I'll go back to my finder and drag this over, put in the icons references in there, and just press finish. So let's make sure those settings are correct. And I'm going to do the same thing for my splash screens. And I'll remove these references. Delete. Get rid of the phone gap ones and replace them with my own that I've made earlier. And I'll go back to the splash. Oh, wrong folder. So I'm just going to open up my new my other finder window. So I'll go back to my pre saved Xcode project. Splash screen and away, see. So notice how it only just removes the references here. I actually have to delete the actual files, place these ones in, and minimize this. And drag this over to the splash folder. I'm going to get that pop up again and just go finish. Let's do a product. Clean. And I might just test it out and see if my splash screens work. Let's have a look. There you go, my splash screen is up. It's like the phone gap ones. And if I press the home button, uh, okay, there's a little quirk there. The, Mad Dance icon should come up. Um, what we have to do actually is go to your resources again, but go to the developer list. Nope. Go to the Mad your project info dot p list, and what you do is you delete this icon file key with icon dot png. And because you've already got your icon files here for iOS 5, so for all those, you've already got all those there. So that's all done. Save. Let's just try to clean, stop, clean and build. Let's see if that'll work. Sometimes you have to close Xcode for the icon to work, but we'll test it out and see how we go. That should all work then. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's see if the icons actually changed. No. All right. Well, it will work. Um, I'll close it down in a sec. Let's see. And reopen it. So uh, let's just put X code for the moment, and we'll reopen it in a second. Get the simulator as well. Let's go there. Let's code. So for that mad dance. Let's go 
get to load. Sorry, while I'm doing a screencast, it doesn't really load too well. And filter is succeeded, so let's try running the build. The simulator. And there we go, see? So all you do is exit, restart Xcode, and the Mad Dance icons pop up. Okay, so that's pretty much how you um, get your app started. Okay, and next we're gonna um, incorporate the child browser plugin.